Hey everyone, it's just Jumby here. Back in December 2013, I built this monstrosity, my first 3D printer. It broke in the recent 1.8 update, however, so I thought it was about time I made a better version. This is the ultimate 3D printer. It has a larger printing size at 9 by 10 by 9. It can print with any block. It's faster, less leggy, and a lot more compact. I've gone ahead and prepared a schematic in the chest here. As with the last design, each chest corresponds to a single layer. You'll notice, however, that these aren't double chests. These are actually triple chests, which means they can hold 81 items instead of the regular 54 items. Now we right click the fill chest sign, which will fill up all the empty slots in the chests automatically to prepare it for printing. Finally, we're ready to print. The whole schematic will print in under 5 seconds. We can print with more than just the 16 wool colors, however. Over here is our palette, and we can change what wool color corresponds to what block when it's printing. I'll change a few of these, and then we'll try another print. You can basically print with any blocks, as long as you have no more than 16 different ones. You can also toggle whether or not you can see the armor stamps. Personally, I like them on, as you can see where the system is currently printing. Now let's take a look at all the command blocks. This is all of it. In total, there's about 450 command blocks, which I think is quite a lot more compact than my last design. First of all, let's look at the chests. To make these, we place two chests, and then set block one in the middle. The middle chest now acts as three chests in one. When we press fill chests, a fill clock rapidly places hoppers with iron chest plates in them. The hoppers have a transfer cooldown of zero, which makes them place the item into the chest instantly. We're using chest plates simply because they don't stack, and they're necessary to tell the system that a certain block needs to remain an air block. Now let's look at the actual printing process. First, 10 armor stands are spawned over here, one for each of the 10 layers. These will be used as a reference for printing blocks. Underneath the chests, hopper minecarts are spawned. They'll instantly pick up a single item from the chest above them, and then get killed, dropping the item. If this item is a wool block, it will have a score set to it according to its color in an objective called ID. A clone command will then be executed by the item drop, relative to the corresponding armor stand for that layer. So, for example, a yellow wool block from the first chest will clone the block in the yellow spot of the palette at the location of the armor stand of layer 1. This process is repeated 10 times, once for each layer and this whole process takes place in a single tick. Finally, the armor stands are shifted over one spot, and if they are at the end of the row, they'll be teleported to the first spot of the row below. This results in a very quick, accurate printing of the schematic in the chests. If you want to try out the printer for yourself, there will be a world download in the description. Other than that, I will see you later.